souls it's Tan here today with another video in our North Node series and today we're going to be looking at North Node in the fifth house so I have made an introduction video on on what the North Node is and how I interpret that so I'll post a link to that up there in the description box below so you can check that out first and then come back and watch this video um, to get a more comprehensive understanding of what my take on the North Node really is so if you have a north node in the 5th house, you will have a south node in the 11th house. And in this video, I will first talk about north node in the 5th house, and then I will go through having north node in the 5th house in each of the zodiac signs. So the 11th house south node, this is the place where if you are uh, operating on your south node, we can be feeling lots of discontentment and like our soul slowly begins to decay but if we move too quickly into the north node with complete disregard for the south node the north node is going to become a place of obsession and it can even lead to fanaticism within our lives but if we can balance the two mean that we can take what we have learned from our south node the lessons the skills and we take it with us while we're moving closer to our north node, sign and house. We will find that life has new meaning. We have the ability to experience possibilities that we've never even considered before. So with a fifth house north node and eleventh house south node, the fragmentation of your soul lies in your far-fetched dreams of a better future and the complex strategies that you are forming in order to carve those far-fetched dreams into your practical real life. So your soul may fall easily into a pattern of being a people watcher and trying to figure out other people's problems, situations, their words, what they mean when they do or say certain things to you. This living in your head habit does have its benefits in that it gives way to great imagination as well as an inventive mind for sure. Yet as you ponder the possibilities of a better future and how to make the world a better place, you're, you still feel discontent like your soul slowly begins to decay. Because you are here now in this life to learn to integrate your soul through a process of living in the present moment. Living and breathing the creative process. The 11th house symbolizes the house of your hopes, your wishes, your dreams. The 5th house symbolizes the creative self-expression. So there is a need with this um, north node to step away from maybe it was an early life or a past life if you believe in that of trying to take those earlier or past life dreams and trying to stuff that into the real world because if you do that you will always be experiencing limitations it is useful with this north node to not expend your energy into trying to break through these limitations but there's a need to develop the understanding that the reverse process is what's necessary. So it's kind of like you're an artist and you want to make a work of art, let's say you're a painter and you want to have a work of art displayed in a national art gallery and have some of the best people in the art world come to see it and be inspired by your work. Naturally with an 11th house south node, your first habitual instinct may be to first get in touch with the art gallery and to organize all these things and to get in touch with the people in your social circles, network with people and who can come, who's going to be able to see your work and then yeah and then I'll start to paint. But you're learning to do the opposite meaning that you're learning to first start off with that blank canvas and then channeling your deepest self into the painting or whatever creative work you're doing. And, and, 
And in every moment that that brush touches the canvas, your soul and who you are inside will sort of slowly flow onto the canvas. It flows into every stroke that you take. You live in the present moment of the creative process. So when you first get in touch with your North Node, and this can happen at any time in your life, depending on the people that you may meet, the situations that you get yourself into, and what else is going, in your ch going on in your chart that may support or pull you back from this. But when you first get in touch with your North Node, it can lead to a bit of an obsession because it's a new, exciting area of life. With the North Node in the 5th house, this obsession can be in terms of misusing your creative gifts by creating selfishly for yourself. The obsession and possible envy might come when you create a masterpiece and you hope to be adored and admired for how creative you are and what kind of talents you have. But your soul will grow when you create a masterpiece that is admired and adored by people and recognized by people because maybe that particular work has just saved the life of someone who was about to commit suicide or who was just falling into depression, who has lost a, um, a direction in life. Your creativity must be of service to humanity as a whole. And the best way to do that is to pour your heart and soul into the creative process. And then you become someone, you become legendary. So spending time with children or, or having children will allow you to live more in the present moment because that's what children do. And the fifth house also rules romance, so you're learning here to make romance separate from friendship, the eleventh house. In a sense that your encounters don't all have to become your friends once they don't really match up to your ideals. You're learning to maybe become more personal with the people that you date. Meaning that you may want to not take every topic of conversation into a aligning that with some kind of universal theory. You may want to ask the person in front of you why they have decided to pursue a particular career, for example, and ask them more questions, more personal questions, rather than saying, oh, I think that this industry is definitely beneficial to the world today because of the issues of human rights. You get the idea. There's a lot to learn from love, if you allow it. It's already within you to know what the collective conscious needs in this day and age for better progress. But now you must look at yourself and within yourself. Not your friends, but yourself. And see what gifts lie within that you can give away to raise the collective consciousness. So what you can do to sort of get in touch with this North Node might be to consider starting a business, um, whether that's full-time or part-time, but investing in that, taking that bit of a risk, a business in a business that is based on your passion. Find your hobby and do it and see what comes out of it and you will find that a lot can come out from your leisure time and your hobbies. So the sign that the North Node falls into is going to show how you can best adopt the traits of that particular sign in order to be more in your creative flow. So if you have a North Node in Aries in the 5th house, that means you have a South Node in Libra in the 11th house. This is excellent for someone who trailblazes in the world of business not stopping to ask others for feedback, but just really taking that passion and running with it. Running off with it. You are going to live big and you're going to be catching other people's attention wherever you go. And learning self-care can also do you wonders. If you have a Taurus North Node in the 5th house, you will have a Scorpio South Node in the 11th house. Taurus is ruled by Venus, which rules art, beauty, and the fifth house is the house of creativity. 
you can get how much this placement can make for really good creative artists of all kinds, and even teaching for that matter. The ability to create something of beauty and indulging in luxury and being present is how your soul will grow and evolve the most. If you have a Gemini North Node in the 5th house, you will have a Sagittarius South Node in the 11th house. And this is all about fun, baby. This is about having fun with your social groups and with your words. Making word games a passion, maybe. Teaching languages, writing, journalism, and putting your opinions and ideas out into the world of entertainment. Ultimately, this is about giving voice to your passions. If you have a Cancer North Node in the 5th house, you will have a Capricorn South Node in the 11th house. I think there are some really great intuitive gifts here when it really comes to connecting and working with children if you work with this North Node. But also you're learning to give away your basket of golden fruits um, in order to feed others, metaphorically, who don't quite have enough as you do. If you have a Leo North Node in the 5th house, you have an Aquarius South Node in the 11th house. Well, the 5th house is already ruled by Leo, and you have a Leo North Node here. You are really learning to be the one to control your own destiny. And you must feel entitled to do that, because it is your life. You don't have to identify with anyone but yourself. You are learning to take your knowledge and combine that with talent and creativity and watch how that makes you shine and you inspire the world and the people around you. If you have a Virgo North Node in the 5th house, you will have a Pisces South Node in the 11th house. As much as your path may take you to take center stage in life, you will be learning to how to still remain modest and humble even when you're in the spotlight. You are really learning how to edit and perfect your self-expression. This is a placement of a mastery of self-expression. You don't just create from passion, but you have a good and analytical head about you. To remove your ego a bit from your creations and to say, well, maybe I just need to erase this and adjust this. To make your masterpiece better and more beneficial to the society. If you have a Libra North Node in the 5th house, you will have an Aries South Node in the 11th house. This makes for a great designer of all kinds because the eye for composition and design and line is to be developed here and trendy style as well. You are also here learning to enjoy company, especially the company of a romantic love interest when you're dating and to consider someone else's needs when you want to spend money or enjoy life's pleasures. If you have a Scorpio North Node in the 5th house, you will have a Taurus South Node in the 11th house. You are here learning to develop creativity that may be a bit taboo or lies on the fringe of society in one way or another. Ex appreciating dark sexual exploration is what's gonna allow your soul to grow. There's also there can also be a bit of an obsession here when it comes to speaking your truth and being heard. Your message may be shocking, but as long as they are truthful and they can benefit the society in some ways, rather than for the need for recognition, your soul will grow. If you have a Sagittarius North Node in the 5th house, you will have a Gemini South Node in the 11th house. Here, wealth, abundance, and luck will come to you. When you remove any doubts or skepticism that you may have about the fact that your hobbies can actually make a difference in the world. When you approach what you love to do in your free time, especially if it's regarding the internet um, or technology, with enthusiasm and joy and passion, that brings wealth and fame. What you feel manifests, so it's important with this North Node to feel happy and abundant. If you have a Capricorn North Node in the 5th house, you will have a Cancer South Node in the 11th house. And this placement really makes for someone who can accomplish big things and become a real legend if you stick with it and persevere. And maybe you're gonna have to work on your weekends and your holidays a lot in order to achieve. Because the sign of career does fall into the house of pleasures and leisures. 
but at the same time you're also here to push past any guilt um, which acts as a creative block to unleashing your authentic powerful self-expression and also maybe you have some fetish or dominatrix way of exploring sexuality like Selena Gomez who I think has a Capricorn North Node in the fifth house you know her video song fetish if you have an Aquarius North Node in the 5th house, you will have a Leo South Node in the 11th house. So the nodes and the sign, the sign of the nodes and the house are reversed here because the 5th house is supposed to be ruled by Leo. So this is a placement for somebody who is really good at and is probably learning to work to build an empire. Probably business-wise, where people of all backgrounds, can join hands like a brotherhood or a sisterhood to work for a bigger cause yet at the end of the day you are the one who has built the empire so you are the king or the queen of this venture enterprise empire meaning that eventually you will get to take all the credit all the recognition because people just want to hand this to you because of all the good deeds that you will have contributed if you have a Pisces North Node in the 5th house, you will have a Virgo South Node in the 11th house. And sometimes this placement is the placement of a superstar. You are here learning the art of creative self-expression through exposure of the self. It is also about becoming more clear about you may, why you may long for fame. If the Pisces illusion is overcome and you're sort of not swayed by other people's influences, you can be a real inspiration in expressing in your work the transcendence of pain and loss from being a victim of life to a discovery of the core of the self. So that is my take on North Node in the fifth house through the signs. If you have this placement, do comment below what sign your North Node is in, being in the fifth house, and what your experiences have been for having that. And if you like this video, then do give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't. If you already subscribed, then thank you very much for coming along. I do birth chart readings, synastry, and relationship readings. All the information is on my website. You can check that out. And yeah, I'll be back again very soon, beautiful souls. Have a beautiful day. Bye!